Hey y'all, it's Dory. Um, I go by Sola Seller on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I just wanted to make a video just talking about, I guess what I'm going through right now as far as um, <clears throat> Hurricane Ida. Uh, currently, I'm located in Shreveport, staying with family. Um, my aunt and uncle uh, recently bought a house here. And uh, me and little Peppy, me and Peppy, me and little Peppy's just chilling. But um, basically, uh, they just bought this house last week, so I was fortunate enough that uh, me and my immediate family, like my brother and sister-in-law, have a place to stay because uh, everybody evacuated out of Homa. If you're not familiar with Louisiana, Homa is in Terrebonne Parish, which is um, the parish that's right above the Gulf of Mexico. So when Hurricane Ida came in from the Gulf, it hit my area, uh, actually seven miles below being a Category 5. Um, and so it hit us at a category four with winds uh, at around 140 miles an hour. Um, I personally, my house is in a subdivision uh, surrounded by uh, you know multiple houses. So I wasn't in a position to have like the brunt of direct wind, but um, I did have a neighbor that lived uh, down the street from me who was nice enough to take uh, a couple of pictures and send them to me and let me know that at least my roof didn't blow off as far as I know. Um, I haven't been inside. I don't know anybody that can really go and uh, check out my home until I get back but um at this time it's just kind of like I know I have missing shingles I have roof damage I know I have uh, I have a huge oak tree that I was worried that would have fell on top of my roof but um from the pictures it looks like I do have some tree limbs or trees from the property behind me that fell but it looks like it didn't damage my shed but I'm gonna have to have like tree removal I'm probably gonna have to have my roof redone um, <clears throat> but all that, as long as I can get a, a tarp put on the roof, like eventually, in case it rains, it's not going to like soak into the roof with no shingles. But, um, kind of like at this point, I'm just at, um, we're having to figure out when they're going to let us in. Uh, I've been posting pictures on my Instagram and, uh, Instagram at Sola Seller and my, uh, TikTok at Dory Berg, uh, D-O-R-I-B-O-U-R-G. If you want to follow me on TikTok or follow me on um, YouTube and Instagram, um, I'm gonna have to put my my eBay on vacation mode because um, I don't have access to my inventory. I mean, I'm in northern Louisiana and I live in south southern Louisiana, so that's gonna put a damper on like my um, ability to make extra income. My job, um, our front door, I, I work for Walgreens Pharmacy, and our front sliding doors, the whole frame was pushed in. Um, <clears throat> it becomes a matter of kind of like uh, camping survival. We have, no <laughs> we have no utilities, we have no electricity, we have no water, we have no um, basically survive, like survival. We have no, the infrastructure has been totally devastated. Um, there's, tele there's electrical poles, um, they turn the people who have generators uh, like <sighs> they turn the gas off so you can't run if you have a generator hooked up to your house you can't run the generator because you don't have gas so basically at this point anything that um when we go back in to the parish we have to bring supplies like with us so you got to bring tarps batteries like basically you have to sit and think about if i had no uh access to stores or no gas or no no water nothing uh, what do i need to lit to be able to survive for like say the next month um i don't know how long it's gonna take uh, it's it, it's bad it's i don't know how long it's gonna take them to rewire the electrical to get electricity to get water going um i would think that they would have the water uh, access to the water before the the electrical is going to be restored but um it's like my mind is just blown it's just to, to think about everything that <clears throat> that you need to get um so it's kind of, I'm waiting on my brother and we're going to kind of like figure out, my brother's family and my sister-in-law, and we're going to figure out like what we need to get before we try to uh, get back into Terrebonne Parish. But I just wanted to um, kind of make a quick video and let you guys know that this is where I am. Um, and it's going to be a long, long road. But like, we can't go to work, can't make any money, can't, you know, there's just, there's just nothing. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's. Like you gotta bring gallons of water in you gotta bring uh personal items necessities um i, I don't know I, it, this is crazy it i mean i'm grateful that my house 
that you know I have a, home, a place to go home to um there are people with trailers personally I know I have a friend of mine their trailer was totally destroyed like they have no home and that's just this I, I've cried uh, like I, you know I'm surprised I'm not crying right now because it's mind-blowing on um the things you have to go through but I didn't want to make this video like super long. I'm actually going to shower. It's it's like three o'clock in the morning here. Uh, I can't sleep. I haven't been sleeping well. I kind of took a power nap this afternoon, but uh, like the last three nights, I really haven't been sleeping well. Just all this stress and stuff on your mind. Um, so I don't know. Um, so figure out what work's gonna do. Uh, we can't work if we don't have power. I don't know if they're gonna bring in a portable generator or or, or what. Um, and it's just kind of like you have to think about what you need to get and uh it's kind of like 